In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a brand new Commander deck tech I've been having a lot of fun with recently. It's Ruhan of the Fomori with Jeskai Vehicles and I absolutely love it. Alright there, cheers for tuning in. I'm Tim, here at Digital Armor, a channel all about Magic the Gathering, specifically casual singleton formats like Commander, Brawl, Cube and Oathbreaker. So before we get to the deck tech, we've got a quick upkeep step. If you want to support the channel for free, please hit the subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up, share the link with your friends or playgroup and please ring the notification bell so you don't miss a video. I also want to give a massive shout out to Criticos who just joined my Patreon to support me in making content like this. Thanks so much mate, really appreciate you. Another way to support the channel is checking out my sponsor Arcane Cards, they're an awesome online card shop, they stock MTG singles, sealed products and a range of accessories. The link to the shop is down in the description as well as a discount code to get 10% off your first order. So with that said, let's head to the main phase. Ruhan is a fantastically fun commander in Jeskai colours and great for piloting a vehicle's deck as he's got enough power to crew anything we want. Being able to tap him down before combat takes out the random attack which can be really handy but it's also fun sometimes to roll the dice and see where he swings. So the deck is running a ton of vehicles and creatures and spells that support the strategy. Into the creatures first and a couple of great ways to crew our vehicles. Eketra and Kefnet, the indestructible gods from Amonket, are super useful. They have stipulations on when they can attack or block, but that doesn't matter when we're turning them sideways to crew, and the indestructibility is awesome against board wipes. They're both mana sinks too, Eketra making 1 1 tokens, and Kefnet drawing us cards. We couldn't have a vehicles deck without this next pair, Depala and Veteran Motorist. Both are really cheap, can pilot most things, and the ability to dig for more vehicles with the parlor is great. SRAM, Senior Edificer, makes an appearance giving us some card draw, and the Deadeye Quartermaster allows us to tutor out a vehicle or a piece of equipment, whatever we might need more at the time. And to round out the specific vehicle stuff, Aeronaut Admiral gives all our vehicles flying. Next up, we're going to want to profit from all the artifacts we're running, and Padim is just the Vidalcan for the job. Hexproof is super useful, and we will hopefully be drawing a card a turn too. Joyra of the Weatherlight Captain variety gives us a card with each historic spell we cast, and we've already had six legendary creatures, so this is invaluable. Tesha also cares about historic stuff, however, instead of drawing a card, we get to Sun Titan. And speak of the devil, we've got the real Sun Titan here too. Another great recursion card for this deck is Hannah, Ship's Navigator. It's literally like the Weatherlight crew was made for a vehicles deck. We can bring artifacts and enchantments back from the dead for 3 mana, regardless of their CMC. Draw Kadeen is a great boss commander in his own right, and in this deck he helps smaller ones to crew vehicles, and then makes the vehicles even bigger, win-win. Chief of the Foundry is also in here to buff our crewed artifacts. Then. As a bit of protection is no bad thing, Aether Sworn's Shield Mage can be flashed in to prevent damage for a turn, and Aether Shield Artificer bestows Indestructible onto one very lucky vehicle for the turn. Rounding out the creatures, we've got Imperial Recruiter, which can tutor out about half of our creatures. Vehicles would be a sensible next category to show you, so here we go! Silent Submersible is the whole reason I built this as Jeskai rather than just going Boros de Parla. You might think that's totally ridiculous, but if you've got a pet card, you'll appreciate the feeling. And to be honest, it's not as bad as it first looks. It's super easy to crew, and get it down early, you can start nibbling away at opponents drawing those cards. In a similar vein, Smuggler's Copter does some great work of filtering out our dead draws. Parhelion was another major part of the deck building dream that I had. Being Boros through and through, I knew I needed this in an EDH deck. You'd be surprised just how effective the 3 damage from a Sky Sovereign can be each turn when it attacks. 
It can be dealt to literally any creature or planeswalker, so you can be attacking one person and blowing someone else's stuff up. The great thing about vehicles is that they often appear unassuming. Take Conqueror's Galleon for example. A 2-10 blocker is great, but you can super easily flip it. It's card draw on a land, which is so rad. Peace Walker Colossus is a neat trick by eliminating the need to actually crew vehicles and can be activated multiple times a turn, just not on itself. And of course the Weatherlight is in here to go with Joyra and Hannah. With the amount of historics we're running, you're bound to hit at least one with each dig. Cultivator's Caravan is an often overlooked mana rock, doubling up as a 5-5 beta, and Heart of Kieran also has a crew of three, but we can use Planeswalk Loyalty if we're in a bind, but it's not ideal, and I'm only running a few walkers. Mizium Tank is the third vehicle to come out of War of the Spark, and has been doing wonders in my Feather deck, and is a good fit here too. Being able to turn it into an artifact creature at instant speed makes it really versatile as a surprise blocker, but the trample means it's cool on offence too. Fleet Wheel Cruiser can be useful in a pinch, coming in as a 5-3 hasty creature, and I just had to include Consulate Dreadnought for its throwback to one of my favourite ever cards, the Phyrexian Dreadnought. Finally, Ballista Charger brings up the rear, pinging off 1-1 tokens like a boss. Spells are up next, and some bombs to start with, quite literally. Board wipes of all shapes find a home here, as our uncrewed vehicles won't get hurt. Marshall Coop is perhaps the greatest of them all, as it wipes the board, then gives us a handful of soldiers to start crewing again immediately. Blasphemous Act, Austere Command, and Supreme Verdict all do their thing, and Settle the Wreckage is in here just in case things go really wrong. As a 4 mana instant, it's tutorable by a classic bit of boss equipment coming later. It is a break glass in case of an emergency type card though, as the ramp your opponent gets is quite big. I've included Eroas and Thassa in the spell section rather than creatures, as it's quite hard to get them online as creatures, with so many artifacts keeping our devotion down. Menace is brilliant, Scrying is brilliant, Unblockable is brilliant. Now for the super annoying combo of Smothering Tithe and Ristic Studies. Get one online and you're a mild annoyance. Get both out and you will earn the ire of the table. Be warned. Source of Plowshares, blow something up. Wear slash tear, blow stuff up. Dovin's Veto stops things even needing to be blown up. While Unbreakable Formation and Ghostly Flicker stop our stuff getting blown up. Built to Last also gives a vehicle indestructible for the turn. And its red counterpart, built to smash, gives one trample. Enlightened Tutor and Mystical Tutor, a standard tutor includes here. Enough said, so let's move on to the Planeswalkers. Elspeth, of the Knight Errant variety, kicks us off, and it's literally all about chasing that ultimate to give all our vehicles indestructible. Tezzeret from M19 churns out Thopters, draws us cards, and turns into a ridiculous tutor with his ultimate. Sahili Rai can tutor three artifacts straight onto the battlefield with her ultimate, and Nahiri can do a third of that with hers, but the minus two is where it's at, destroying stuff. Finally, a couple of miscellaneous spells. Open the vaults gives everyone back their dead artifacts, so use wisely. Then Sphinx's revelation is some epic card draw. To be fair, it could possibly be replaced with Azor, who has this ability built in. We do have other artifacts in here besides vehicles, so here they are. Sol Ring, Jeskai Banner, Boros Signet, and the Azorius one are all standard mana rocks. Fountain of Ikor is also a rock, but can be turned into a creature post-board wipe to jump in a vehicle. Solemn Simulacrum is a standard include, as is Sunforger in any deck running these colours. We've seen tons of spells we can unattach it to grab, or just a 4 power boost is great. It falling off a vehicle when it goes back to just being an artifact doesn't count as unattaching though. Treasure Map provides us with 3 bouts of scrying and then it becomes really versatile. Technically Ramp, we can use the treasure as mana sources, but also sack them to keep drawing cards. And if we have it flipped with our Smothering Tithe in play, we get a ton of value. 
Finally, there's Mirage Mirror, just an all-round great commander staple. And so we reach the final section of the deck, the mana base. And as always, this is very budget dependent for which dual lands you run and if you can fit fetches in. Command Tower and Spire of Industry are the tricolour lands. I'm running Prismatic Vista as my only fetch. For jewels, I've picked Clifftop Retreat, Sulphur Falls, Glacial Fortress and Sea of Clouds. Inventor's Fair for tutoring, Buried Ruin and Academy Ruins for some recursion. I'm running all three of the Mirrodin Artifact Lands, they help keep the artifact count up. Then there's some spicy tech with Man Lands, these steer clear of board wipes then can come alive to crew vehicles. Needle Spires, Wandering Fumarole, Celestial Colonnade and Mutavolt. Rounding it out with basics, there's six planes, seven islands and five mountains. If you want to see the full deck list for this Ruhan Commander Deck Tech, there's a link to my decks on Architect down in the description, and I'd love to chat about it in the comments or over on my Discord, which patrons like these lovely folks get access to. I couldn't make these videos without their support or that of my sponsor Arcane Cards. Please don't forget to check them out with the link that's in the video description. If you'd like to see more Commander Deck Techs, there's a playlist of them right here. Or for something different, why not check out this video? And before I disappear, don't forget to tap on the llama to subscribe for new videos every Monday and Thursday. I'll catch you all on the next one. Cheers!